In this one, the most expensive IPL team who spent 34 crores in the auction are going up against the cheapest team who only spent 12 crores. We are playing as LSG, we are bowling first. First ball goes away for four. That's been flicked as well, but the fielder came around. That is surprisingly good fielding and good running as well. They got through a run there. And this is gonna be wide, but a hint of swing. This has not been the greatest of starts. Already seven runs, only three balls done. I have already bowled a wide and they are playing shots like that. Put in that dive. Can we at least end this over strong? That's been smacked and that's out. He has grabbed that out of thin air. I mean that ball. It looked like it was going straight for four. But out of nowhere the short cover fielder plucks it from thin air and we'll get our first wicket so that really bad first over ends up being actually a pretty good one. Look at that for a catch. No fancy dives, none of that, just quick reflexes and caught. And again a little bit of swing, this time I don't think that was wide. Oh again, the ball is moving around. We've somehow pulled it back from the first 3-4 balls that's been flaked in the gap. Look at that timing on that. Sometimes the ball just flies out of the face of the pad. That's been flaked, I think this should be 6. Easily as well. We are getting a lot of dot balls, but we are getting smacked for boundaries in between. So those dot balls end up meaning, meaning nothing. We've already given away 10 runs even though we bowled 3 dot balls. Make it 4 dot balls in that over. We need a few more wickets. That first wicket was sweet, but we need some more. But if I keep bowling like that, I don't think that's gonna happen. I wanted a York and he ends up bowling a nice juicy full toss. That's been smacked as well, a little bit of room and he takes the deep extra cover fielder on and clears him comfortably for 6. This power play is going almost exactly like KKR's power plays nowadays, they are absolutely smacking the ball everywhere. But we are making the batsman miss here and there as well. Here we go, another play and a miss. Comes down, he's gone for an extra cover drive over the infield and over the boundary line comfortably for six. Oh, well balled, a little flatter so he goes on the back foot and a dot ball. That's a good start to an over, we still have that slip fielder. In this game he almost acts like a short third man and again that bounce, turn and length. This has been a really good over so far. Hopefully I don't spoil it with 3, 4, 6s now. Once again short. This might actually be out. Yes it is. That was a short, very flat ball. He's tried to go over 3 fielders on the deep on the leg side. And he hasn't managed to time it well enough. Well we'll get another one. The dangerous Sunilla <laughs> right goes. But now some actual batsmen are at the crease, so this might actually be the actual danger part. Oh, this has been a first class over, four deliveries, not a single run given already. We've taken a wicket, the batsman hasn't managed to touch the ball either. Slog swept, can somebody come around and take it? Nope. Flick, this time flat again, this might be out as well. Nope, he has dropped it, pops out of the hand and to rub salt into the wounds, it goes for 4 as well, at least he could have stopped that, a drop catch, whatever, but then it rolls away and goes for 4. He's hit it straight, I think, and uh, yeah, he has hit it straight to long off. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're picking the fielders on the deep time and time again. We are not taking everything, but at least this time he holds on to it. Okay, number 3 gone. And the run rate is still 8.59, but that's not too bad. Inside edge, and he goes off the first ball. That ball was actually half volley. He comes down, converts it into a yorker, then drags the ball all the way back onto the middle stump. That is more a batsman's wicket than mine. But we'll take it. And again, beautifully, Paul. That length is getting better. Spin might be the answer. 
on this pitch. The ball is turning, now they're slowing down as well. The run rate has dropped down to 8.22. Edged and another drop catch. I mean 77 for 5 would have been so awesome. Now the run rate is below 8. This has been an achievement for sure. What was that? Is that even Andre Russell? He has gotten himself into a left-hander's stance and then smacked it with a straight bat. Tossed up, he's flicked it in the air again and I think it'll clear the field just barely but still really well hit. The good thing is we are keeping the run rate under control but every now and then, I don't know what has happened to Russell, he's only playing unconventional shots for some reason. Comes down, picks it, I don't know how they're hitting sixes so easily. Every ball that's gone up in the air has gone for six. That's gone a long way up in the air but I think it'll still go just far enough for six. A long way up. It almost looked like it went straight up. And finally we get him beat but still it's going down the leg side. Spinners have been very effective. Fast bowlers not so much but now those things might change. He's gone over long on, almost over wide on and he'll get a one bounce four. Goes for another reverse sweep, not Russell this time. This will be four as well, almost six. This partnership is really taking this game away from us. Not only are they not losing wickets, they are scoring at a ridiculous run rate. I mean the last three, four overs, I think every over has gone for at least 13 runs. And these guys keep changing their stances. It is seriously more annoying than a normal shot that goes for 6. 41 of 23 and 28 of 16. And comes down again. Ah, uh, Every ball it's either a, a switch hit or come down the wicket and smack it. Now at least our main bowlers are back. Let's see if that changes anything. He's hit it flat. That fielder instead of going around he comes forward. I don't know what he was doing. That should have been stopped. An off cutter and he's pulled it and pulled it in the gap. That gap, I don't know if I have to cover it or what. Because then I won't have enough fielders for the other parts of the ground. But it's not really mattering though. They're hitting sixes. It's not like they are placing the ball left, right and center. It's just hitting sixes comfortably. And he'll get a 50 of 24. 104 meter hit. Let's hope this is the end. And a misfield, they are not going to run, who's going to come and pick up the ball, apparently no one, no one's running towards the ball, finally there we go, and they only run one run, and a 100 run partnership, man they were 73 for 4, then we even drop a catch, and then 100 runs later, we are in deep deep trouble. Almost dragged it back onto the stump, but of course we're not lucky, not that it's going to matter, taking wickets now. Is almost pointless. We only have nine balls to go. And another Skyer. This is probably out of the ground, I think. That is a huge hit. He's finally playing like the real Russell. And not playing switch hits and reverse sweeps. At least he's smacking us straight down the ground. And over extra cover as well. And this is a comfortable six. Last over, they've already crossed 200. I'm gonna try to change the field a little. I don't know if that is even gonna help because they are hitting sixes. It's not anything along the ground. He's flicked it, caught, and of course goes outside the boundary line. Two sixes with this over already. He's flicked it. This might be the third one. He's caught it, and he is inside the boundary line. That's the most important part. And we are finally after what 150 runs I think we've taken a wicket. Russell's on strike, two balls to go. That's been flicked. Catch it, someone. Clears the field six. Only 64 meters. Not a big ground, so maybe we have a chance to chase this down. He has slapped that ball, man. That was a hammer. Smacking a nail. They'll end up with God knows how many runs. I think 240 or something like that. I even stopped looking at the scorecard. 
228 for 5 after 20 overs. Russell almost gets to 100. Two more balls and he probably would have been at 101. Hopefully, we can play just like them and hit a few sixes because it's not the biggest of grounds. So, that shouldn't be that big of a problem. Starts off with a short, quick delivery. Well, the reason for KKR being the most expensive team, he's bowling at us right now. Let's see if he can justify that price tag. Treven and I think this batting difficulty might be on a lower setting. I have to change that because that ball flew away too much. So now we are back. And of course it is gonna be a struggle from now on. Look at that. What was that? That ball stopped. A cover drive that stopped before even reaching covers. Good start. Two balls, six runs. We keep going at this rate we will get 18 runs and over so this chase will be comfortable if you going keep going at this rate we'll be all out by the 10th over so that is also a possibility the captain goes for a golden duck the most expensive player in the IPL takes a wicket in his very first over four deliveries gone when we already lost our captain and of course opening batsman that's a bonus that's been punched down. There should be at least two and that's four. The boundary is not big by any means. Maybe we still have a chance. 11 of the first over already. That one wicket. That's the only sore spot. That's been punched down. This is actually timed even better. This four for sure. Yeah. 15 of the first one. Short went for the ball. Man, is he quick. This ball was a proper express pace delivery and a bouncer as well. Thankfully got a top edge. Try to glide that ball or probably should have played it on the front foot. Almost an inside edge. And we lose our second wicket in just a second over. 229. We're still 209 runs away. Oh, where is my foot going? It's going in the opposite direction. Whoa. He is genuinely fast. Short, I've gone for the pull. Have I crossed square leg? Barely, but we will take it. The entire offside field was packed. The leg side, not so much. Try to play a lot of short. It works this time. Run rate going. Only 9 runs and over when the required run rate is almost 12, right? Again, a straight drive. This shot has been working really well. Combine that with a very small boundary straight and you'll get fours pretty easily. Has been flicked over midwick at the entire leg side region. Has a grand total of two fielders. They can literally hit it anywhere and get four. That's what you did. That's been punched beautifully. This might actually be two as well. Ah, a gift of the first ball. No fine leg and a ball spinning onto my pad. Flicked easily. Well, that's a good start against Spain. Hopefully we can keep this going. Because they're going to at least bowl 8 overs of Spain. Flick this time a little late. That was a little quicker. And the fact that we didn't see my middle stump on the ground is an achievement. 4.246. So we're going almost on par. Ah, come on, I missed a straight ball. I think it did turn a little bit, but I probably should have played it straight or on the offside. Try to play it a little too fine. Third one gone. If we keep losing wickets like this, even a chase of 160 is gonna be impossible. At least we are scoring almost on par with the required run rate. Driven, but stopped really well. Seven of this over so far. That has been looped up, tossed up. I didn't premeditate that. As soon as I saw the ball, it still so tossed up and easily hit. And that ball went a long way. Four deliveries and I managed to score a grand total of one run. That's been hit down the ground. And six. I didn't connect with one ball out of the last three, but then I just decided to go for a big one and got six as well. And look at that turn. Again, tossed up, tried to hit it with the spin in the air, but of course I edged another one gone. Now we are not even looking 
like we're gonna cross 180. And he still need 167 runs. That's an entire T20 game right there and I think that's a drop catch. Too full to play off the back foot. Got a thin edge. Short ball, hit off the back foot, this might be out as well. No, it clears mid off, or actually long off, and goes for 6. Good start to this over, let's keep it going and score at least 13 runs, minimum. Oh, perfect googly, way too much done. Required run rate 14.36, flat hit, but not long enough, nor did I place the ball well. A little straighter and would have got a one bounce four, but today is just not our day. Another one gone. And now our chase I think is well and truly done. Full toss, flicked. Look at that. I mean, I don't think I've gotten out like that ever, but here we are. A full toss, straight hit for six, couldn't even claw across the 30 yard circle. 76 for six now, we need Three runs of every ball, went for a straight and even that is out, that usually goes for four but not today, everything is going to hands. Click and finally man, I've tried to hit every ball for six the last three overs and that's the only time it has worked. Hit straight and it has gone absolutely nowhere. Wait at number eight gone, can we cross 100 now? Gone for it straight and finally an edge goes in the gap. I thought even this would go straight to point. But we'll get four. Let's try to cross three figures first. 91. We need another nine. Hit straight. And again, why is the ball just not going anywhere? Nine gone now. We have number 10 and 11 at the crease. We need 138 runs of 43 balls. I mean every single thing is against us, let's just try to swing the bat and have some fun that's been hit down the ground and that required run rate is 19.14, 7 overs we have to score 20 runs and we have 1 wicket left, if we can somehow win from here, which is never happening but if we do that will be the greatest performance ever, I don't know how that went for 6, too much pace I guess, a 106 meter hit as well. Short ball, punched off the back foot, edge then flies for 4. This 10th wicket partnership might be the highest one. Shot again, I've hit it straight and probably straight to long off. There we go, that is it. KKR win the most expensive team. Absolutely destroy the cheapest team in the tournament. They won by 117 runs, they could have won twice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see the worst IPL team go up against the worst PSL team, click the video on screen. For now, like, comment and subscribe for more Cricket24 videos and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.